Still ahead, a familiar face with a super-sized proposition. You won Survivor, weren't you? That's yeah. Survivor champion. That's it. Okay. You think you're going to survive this one? Definitely. Blindside and bitch. I know this business back to front. Well, that island was uh, surrounded by sharks, but now you're swimming with it. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll have to see about that. Next. Sure. A former Survivor South Africa contestant looking for support from a pack of hungry sharks. Hi, I'm Shona MacDonald. I'm 27 years old and I'm from Joburg. <laughs> During my studies uh, doing a BCom entrepreneurship, I realized that there's a real problem that women have that I can solve. My products are so unique because I have the same issues as my customers. So I come from a really understanding point of view that I know what they want. When girls feel good, then they're happy. And when girls are happy, guys are happy. So for me, it's the way of making the world a happier, better place. My name is Shona and I support boobs. I'm the founder of Thursday's Lingerie and Swimwear and today I'm looking for a strategic relationship with a shark who can help me grow my business through mentorship and through financial backing. I'm offering a buxom 30% of this bodacious business for a 500,000 rand investment. I'm standing in front of you today representing all of the girls who struggle to find supportive and pretty lingerie and swimwear in their size. You would think that in a market that sells 290 million rand in swimwear and 780 million rand in lingerie, that everyone would be catered for. But we did a survey and 80% of our respondents said that they still struggle to find supportive items in their size. These girls are above a C cup, they're aged 15 to 45, and they are in the LSM 8 to 10. That is 1.5 million women who are left feeling dissatisfied. Now, why are these women dissatisfied? It's because at the moment, there's no local retailer that's able to offer them a product that meets all four of their pain points, which are price, style, comfort, and fit. Now, we have four gentlemen. To put this into perspective, try and picture being too big for your jocks. A nice problem to have, <laughs> but an uncomfortable one. I know. That's <laughs> yeah, a problem. It's a, it's a big problem. <laughs> and as you know, girls can be very sensitive and we're extremely self-aware. So what's the solution? I present to you Thursdays, a cool brand that supports girls through structured lingerie and swimwear. I've got a technical designer who's been in the industry for 27 years. And she makes sure that our products are functional, while I make sure that they're fashionable. I've put together a distribution model that is going to maximize our reach. You can get Thursdays through our online store, which is thursdays.co.za, and we will also be available through established boutiques. I'm already speaking to eight out of a targeted list of 70. What do I want to do with the investment? Well, we're going to launch the lingerie range, which includes sizing the patterns that we've already developed, buying the raw materials and commissioning the labor to get it made. We're also gonna start developing our swimwear range for next season. This is very exciting because we're actually developing our own fabric prints and they've got a unique African flair. We're also putting together an amazing value add which is gonna drive in-store sales. And this includes the Thursday's wire coat hangers because we care about you, your boobs and your community. So Sharks, when you invest in Thursdays, you're investing in our goals. Because you all know that a girl with confidence is unstoppable. So, Sharks, do you support boobs? Thanks, Megan. Oh, wow. You know, th th this is a very worthy cause that I think all the Sharks would want to support. <laughs> <laughs> You really moved us with that presentation. You look familiar. You won Survivor, weren't you? That's right. Yeah. Survivor Champions. That's correct, yes. You think you're going to survive this one? Definitely. I know this business back to front. Well, that island was uh, surrounded by sharks, but now you're swimming with them. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll have to see about that. Why Thursdays? 
So I started it on a Thursday, it's pretty simple, but I also wanted to take the sexuality out of a lingerie and swimwear brand that's catering for girls with big boobs. Shona, I love it. I can identify with your product and I think there's a huge market for what you're doing. How much lingerie have you sold and how long have you been doing it? Okay, so I've actually just, just started with it. I've been doing product development and testing okay. for a while. My final samples are busy being made at the moment. So I've opened up pre-order sales, but what I've based my valuation on and my projections on is the, the potential of this brand. So I'm making 200 units this year, and I've grown that next year because we're gonna be selling to boutiques. That 70% of the sales will be made through boutiques and that 30% will be made through online and direct and pop-up shops from my own doing. Sorry, did I answer your question? You did, and a lot more, but okay. that's fine. Hi, Shana. Hi. Um, I can give you cash, but what else would you want from me? I definitely want mentorship. So, as I said to you, I've been working on this in the back end for three years, and it's every time I hit an obstacle, I've got to figure it out myself. I don't have business experience of starting a business and I really want to work with somebody who understands business and who's able to help me distribute this and expand my reach. So who would you say would be your competitor? There is no brand like Thursdays. There must be competition. There's competition. As I said, there's a lot, but there's no one that meets all four of the pain points. This has all got underwire support. I understand the problem. You're solving the problem and that's important. How big can you take this? What would be the next big thing that you would be solving? This is going to be huge, Gil. I'm obviously starting off small, getting the basics right first. After I've done that, we're going to expand the product range as it normally would. But I'm also going to target more niche markets. I don't know if you know, but some girls wear three bras to the gym because they don't have the proper support when they're in their sports bras or triathletes. So, they so don't have tri suits with so You're saying sport bras would be your next thing? I'm saying that's one of the niches that I want to Give target. That. Maternity wear, because obviously feeding bras and that. When people have breast reductions or boob jobs, they've got to wear this bra for four weeks. That's this horrible sack of things. And these are obviously people who are image conscious. <laughs> you know, they want something nice for the proper support. What's your use of funds? What do you want to use the farm and care for? I want to use it for developing the lingerie range that we've already designed the patterns for. So I need to size them, which is called grading. So make them bigger and smaller. Um, then I need to buy the raw materials for that. And I need to commission the labor to get it made as well as next year's swimwear season. What's your production capacity? Okay, so I can produce unlimited because I've got mm. CMTs and factories that this is what they do. I have to place my order. It takes about a month from when I, my order gets placed to the delivery date. Sounds like a fabulous concept. And you have amazing energy. You Thank know, you. but it's not something I can sink my teeth into. So good luck. I'm up. Thank you. You're great at what you do. You're gonna do a couple of sales on Instagram and Facebook and you're gonna get a couple of boutiques on board. But there needs to be a show now going with with all your products to tell the customers about it, to, to get it out there. If you're gonna do it on scale, you're not gonna have that. It's not gonna be profitable to do that. Can I tell you how I am gonna do that? Before the break, former Survivor South Africa Champions contestant Shona pitched her lingerie and swimsuit business to the Sharks. It's not something I can sink my teeth into, so good luck. I'm up. Romeo wasn't taking the bait. So who would you say would be your competitor? Dawn has made four investments this season and has a passion for female entrepreneurs. Thank you so much, Dawn. Thank you. Cool. Nice one. Well done. <laughs> You're going to be doing a lot more than candles, huh? Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Dawn. Dawn, Gil, Vinny, and Magnus are still circling. There needs to be a show now going with, with all your products to tell the customers about it, to, to get it out there. If you're going to do it on scale, you're not going to have that. It's not going to be profitable to do that. Can I tell you how I am going to do that? 
I like to try and support South Africans as much as possible. So I bring in other entrepreneurs. We get these wire coat hangers made by street artists. They can be taken home with the customer when she buys our products. So it's kind of, it draws your eye to the products, separates it from the rest of the competitors. And it's a value add, it creates another job because when you take this home, next time they order, they order another coat hanger with it. I'm also gonna have a display unit, which is also made by the same street artists. And on the side, it's gonna have a little story about them. That's exactly my point. When you go out to a retail shop, there's someone that needs to explain that to customers. There's someone that needs to go out and do that. I don't believe that this is a product that one can easily scale, but I do think that you're gonna be great at doing that. As an investor, I'm out. Okay. Mm. <laughs> That's how the cookie crumbles and the tank. Vinny? Still thinking. I'm just doing a calc on working capital requirements. If you need more clarification, I'm No, no, no more it. clarification. No more. No more. <laughs> we have to mute you. Shona, there's a thing of overselling. You've done enough. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> oh, okay. I know my numbers. Right. Um, I must say, when uh, you guys walked in, I was like, I'm definitely not gonna entertain this because I know nothing about it and I like to add value to businesses. I don't wanna be a financier, I wanna be a partner. But you have done a really good sales job. The most impressive thing though is your tenacity. Incredibly tenacious, you won't give up like a bulldog. And that is an incredibly important requirement in an entrepreneur. So here is my offer to you. 150,000 for 30% of the business. Really? Yeah. Sure. So, how well do you know the online retail market? Not as well as you, Billy. You could definitely help me there. Have you had a runway sale? Yes, I have. I, I know how big this can get. That would be an interesting angle because I think you could do millions of sales like in a day. Okay. So, I, I think uh, Gil's got the right number. In terms of valuation wise, I don't think the valuation is um, too far off that. So I would make you the same offer, uh, but I'd give you, you know, we'll put a number on it, but a million rand in working capital finance uh, as well. I'll give you 10 million rand working capital. Working capital is easy, right. don't so, it? No, no, hold on. Yeah. Let's not try to befuddle things. You will have an unlimited amount of money for working capital. Well, He's offering one, one million, of the sharks. I'll give you 10 million, 50 million. Hundred million. So we all agree, whoever gives you an offer will be unlimited working capital. I, I have access to the right channels to get you these big sales orders through right now. Okay. And that's the key. Go on. Shona, I'm the, the last shock to make you an offer. I believe in you. I really believe in you. And you really, really impressed me. And your heart and soul is in this. And I do believe that you need good mentorship. So Shona, here's my offer to you. 200,000 for 30% equity in your business and a huge amount of my own time. Guys, I want to know, would you be willing to up your game to 200,000? I think you can go up for that. I, I can go up a bit. I'll match Dawn's offer. You'll match Dawn's offer. Gil? I'll yeah. Throw, I'll throw you a sweet as well. No, no, you can't. No, you know, no, that's what the rules mean. He can do what he wants to. He's a man's speak. So, she was. So, my, my, my wife and I co founded Tuxed to Customers with Carl Work. She worked with him very well. She knows him well. Uh, and uh, we ran, she, I mean, in the US, she ran literally probably the largest search engine marketing account in the world. So she lives nine hours away. From yeah, he lives in Silicon Valley. One actually has Edwards accounts in California, you know, near Google, you know, Gil. Um, okay. So I, I throw that in. I give you some of the time as well to help you with this and market it online. All the same offers. And what you need is a strategic partner. Make a call. Sharks, I want to thank all of you. Dawn, I know that you're amazing at innovating and growing businesses. And Gil, I know you're a marketing, marketing extraordinaire. But I think online is where a lot of my time is going to be faced. And I think that mentorship from somebody who's done so well and competing in two markets as well is really going to help me. So, Vinny, thank you. Great. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Bye. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I pulled the room here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for it. <laughs> you have to bring in your wife.
I survived the shark tank and not only that, I walked away with an amazing deal and an awesome entrepreneur who's going to help me scale my business in the online sector, even though it was super, super intense on there. I'm so happy. I think she'll make a lot of money with you, but I think in terms of the real growth that an entrepreneur like that needs, Dawn would have made the better partner. Just saying. Absolutely. I disagree. Next time on Shark Tank.